Hi there. Okay, everyone. So I'm Jennifer Elizabeth Masters. I'm sure you know that. Um, one of the things that is so important, no matter what it is we are trying to create, if we are looking for a new home, an apartment, if we are um, manifesting a relationship, we need to be crystal clear. So this morning I had a client uh, with a big issue. They received an eviction notice. They're paying their rent, uh, but they got an, an eviction notice. And I, I suggested that they get crystal clear because they're both, both uh, husband and wife are working from home and then they have a child who is also working from home for school. And the house that they're in isn't working for them. And so um, they love the house and they were thinking about putting a wall in the middle of their living room and it's a rental. And, and anyway, when this eviction notice came in, it's, it's not really an eviction. It's more like we want to sell the house. It feels like the landlord is done with renting and wants to get out of Dodge. And so um, what I suggested was create a list. What are the things that you love about this place? What are the things that you are missing and don't like? And so when we're absolutely crystal clear on the things that we don't want to deal with anymore, right? Does that ever happen? That we don't want a particular thing. We, we, we're very clear on what we don't want. It's easier, actually. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm on an angle here. I'm trying to straighten myself out. So it can be very easy to discern what we don't want. Like in a relationship, we know that we don't want somebody who is a cheater, we, or most people, and we don't want somebody who um, maybe is, um, is bisexual, or we don't want somebody who, um, let's see, has addictions or smokes, or, I mean, you, you could go down the list of, we don't want a narcissist. Uh, we can very easily come up with a list of the things that we don't want. And it's okay to do that. As a matter of fact, it is a good place to start because it's easier for most people to say, okay, I don't want, I don't want, um, I don't want someone who is emotionally unavailable. I don't want somebody who's abusive. I don't want somebody who has 10 children that I would have to be a, a stepmother to, I mean, or a little baby, or uh, maybe you don't want to date somebody who's not divorced yet. All of those things are, are your prerequisites, you getting clear. So I'm just talking about a relationship for now. And then you can go, okay, what do I want? I want somebody who's emotionally available, somebody that I am attracted to, I, you know, you could, you could say that, that height, you know, you'd like somebody that is over five foot four and less than seven feet tall, or you can do those things, but those may be the things that you later on go, well, that's not quite so important as somebody who is loyal and faithful and loving and caring and evolved and fit and healthy. Those may be your priorities. So when you can get crystal clear on the things that you don't want, the things that you do want, then the universe can quickly, easily, and effortlessly bring it to you. Now, if it is a home, maybe you want a, a, a fenced-in backyard, or you want to have space around you, you want to have land, you may want to have trees, you may want to have um, all your living space on one floor and as opposed to having an, a two-story or three-story home. So what your priorities are, you need to list, I don't want this, I do want that, and then focus on what you do want. But you have to get crystal clear on what you want and then the universe can bring it to you easily and effortlessly. Now, the caveat here is we can get in our own way. We can think, oh, this is going to take time. But no, it doesn't have to. Because like, you know, this move to, to Colorado happened so darn fast, I was, it wasn't even on my radar. Um, I had just given up any hope that it was going to happen, and boom, as soon as I got back from my visit to Colorado, I had this invitation, you know, from 
older housing partners. So uh, things can happen at the speed of light. We are the ones that put the brakes on. We are the ones that go, oh no, it can't happen right now. Oh, it's, you know, this, that, and the other thing has to be in place. But those are our limiting beliefs and limiting beliefs will slow down the process. So um, tonight I am having a free call at five o'clock Pacific, six o'clock Mountain, and eight o'clock Eastern. It's free, I'll post the link. You are invited, of course, and uh, it's an opportunity to ask questions, get some coaching for free, um, and even some energy clearing. So sending you lots of love, and um, I'd love to hear if you are having issues or problems and you want to have some help, I will read your comments and I will definitely answer them on the next live call. I love you. Thanks for watching.